Do you get anxious about your EV running out of charge? Does the fear of getting stranded in the middle of nowhere get in the way of enjoying your car? If this is you, you might be dealing with what is known as range anxiety. And this happens to a lot of EV owners and prospective owners. What if we told you that in the near future, range anxiety will be eliminated? Welcome back to AutoTech, and today we're diving into the world of fast chargers and how they'll eliminate range anxiety. Range anxiety, summarized as the fear of EVs not having sufficient charge or range to make it to your destination. This is usually the biggest barrier to entry for non-EV owners. Early models of electric vehicles had a poor reputation for their real-world mileage range between charges. Drivers were often finding out that they couldn't get much more than 70 miles from a fully charged battery, despite the manufacturer's claim that a far greater mileage was possible. This tainted the image of the electric car vehicle market, and to some extent, it's still shaking it now. But should a lack of battery range be a profound worry if you're considering the transition to electric vehicles? And what can you do to prevent it from being one? Types of Charging and Battery Capacity As an EV owner, to get the most value from your vehicle, you should know about the types of charging options that are available. Slow Charging A slow charger typically operates between 2.3 kilowatts to 2.5 kilowatts and uses AC power to charge your EV. The slow chargers use household sockets to charge and more often than not come in the form of a 3-pin plug. This is the slowest way to charge your EV as it can take up to or sometimes over 18 hours for a full charge using a 3-pin plug charger, depending on the type of battery you have. Let's use the Renault Zoe as our example. With a 3-pin plug charger powering at just under 3 kilowatt hours, you're looking at roughly 17 hours to fully charge your EV. You're most likely to find slow chargers in homes or some rare cases in the workplace where companies have not yet invested in a dedicated EV charging port. Fast charging. Typically rated 7 kilowatts, or if you want to be more precise, 7.3 kilowatts, fast chargers are the most common type of EV charger in the United Kingdom. These EV chargers usually come in the form of dedicated home charging points or public charging points in places like supermarkets or parking lots. All electric vehicles need to be charged by DC, direct current, and like slow chargers, fast chargers use AC power to your EV. EVs have built-in converters inside, turning it into DC within the vehicle. Fast chargers are three times quicker to charge your electric vehicle than slow chargers, and if you're fortunate enough to come across a 22 kilowatt charger, they're around 10 times faster. Using the same example of the Renault Zoe, it should take around 7 hours to charge with a 7 kilowatt fast charger and 2.3 hours using a 22 kilowatt charger. However, on average, it should take between 4 to 6 hours to charge your EV with a 7 kilowatt fast charger. Tips for maximizing EV range. If you're an EV owner, here are a few tips that can help improve the range of your car. Electric vehicle apps. EV apps like ZapMap or A Better Route Planner can help with your confidence and peace of mind when driving an EV. App functions can contain searching your nearby location for charging points, estimating the percentage of battery used for return journey, and even making the payment for your charge. They can take into account specific EV models, driving preferences, and battery state of charge. However, if you're not using an app, Make sure you're aware of as many charge points along your journey or within your local area as possible. Charge when stopped, not stop to charge. Simply what this means is to be efficient with your time by taking any opportunities during your trips, such as coffee or bathroom breaks, to plug in and charge. Keep your vehicles well maintained. As with all vehicles, a healthy preventative maintenance plan helps to keep an EV's operating costs down. In the case of EVs, for example, Maintaining the correct tire pressure can help get the best mileage out of each charge. Tire pressure can vary by an average of 1 PSI with every 10 degree Fahrenheit change in the air temperature, so it's beneficial to check your tire pressure when the seasons change. Charging Networks in the U.S. As an EV owner, it is imperative to be acquainted with the charging stations around you so you don't run out of power unexpectedly. In the U.S., these stations can be found throughout most states. Electrify America Electrify America is the largest direct current DC fast charging networks for the majority of EV models. They're open to all EVs with a charging connection standard, CCS, and, for the time being, the new vehicles like the Nissan Leaf and Tesla vehicles, which use their own proprietary connector in the US, can connect to Electrify America and other DC fast charging networks using a CCS adapter. Tesla Superchargers the largest in the United States is Tesla's supercharger network with limited distance between stations compared to Electrify America. What's more, Tesla's network isn't only available to Tesla vehicles. Elon Musk has stated that the infrastructure is open for other manufacturers to utilize, 
but not many have taken advantage of this yet. EV Go DC fast charging isn't limited to road trips. Many EV owners can't charge at home, and in such cases, there's a need to have fast chargers located around town. EVGo is the largest DC fast charging network in America, catering to this need. Future Innovations for Fast Charging To address this problem, scientists looked for answers in the mysterious field of quantum physics. Their search has led to the discovery that quantum technologies may promise new mechanisms to charge batteries at a faster rate. Such a concept of quantum battery was first suggested in a seminal paper published by Alki and Fanes in 2012. It was theorized that quantum resources, such as entanglement, can be used to enormously speed up the battery charging process by charging all cells within the battery simultaneously in a collective manner. Not quite long ago, scientists from the Center of Theoretical Physics of Complex Systems within the Institute for Basic Science further explored these questions. The paper, which was chosen as an editor's suggestion in the journal Physical Review Letters, revealed that all-to-all -all coupling is irrelevant in quantum batteries and that the existence of global operations is the only ingredient in the quantum advantage. The group went further to specify the precise source of this advantage while ruling out any other options and even furnished an explicit way of designing such batteries. In addition, the group was able to specifically quantify how much charging speed can be achieved in this scheme. While the maximum charging speed increased linearly with the number of cells in classical batteries, the study showed that quantum batteries employing global operation can achieve quadratic scaling in charging speed. To illustrate this, we'll consider a typical electric vehicle with a battery that consists of about 200 cells. Employing this quantum charging would lead to a 200 times speed up over classical batteries, which means that at home charging time would be cut from 10 hours to about 3 minutes. At high speed charging stations, the charge time would be cut from 30 minutes to mere seconds. Scientists say that effects can be far-reaching and that the implications of quantum charging can go well beyond electric cars and consumer electronics. For example, it may find key uses in future fusion power plants, which require large amounts of energy to be charged and discharged in an instant. Quantum technologies are still in their infancy, and there is a long way to go before these methods can be implemented in practice. Research findings such as these, however, create a promising direction and can incentivize funding agencies and businesses to further invest in these technologies. If employed, it is believed that quantum batteries would completely revolutionize the way that we use energy and take us a step closer to our sustainable future. Hopefully soon, we'll have charging options that can allow us to charge electric cars in mere minutes. Aside from charging times and battery density, what other improvements do you think could help put range anxiety at bay? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, Thanks for watching Autotech.